We are students at the University of Massachusetts Amherst assigned with the topic of land conservation for the class NRC 490S Sustainable Systems Evaluating Local Solutions. Land use involves the management and modification of natural environment or wilderness into built environment such as settlements and semi-natural habitats like fields, pastures, and managed woods. There are many types of land use including recreational, agricultural, residential, environmental, and forested. While all these land types can have individual uses, they could also meet the needs of each other. While forest land could have recreational use through the form of a federally regulated park, it could also have an environmental use by providing habitat for wildlife. In 2007, a major study of land uses showed that 30% of land was forest land, 27% was pasture and rangeland, 18% was cropland, 14% was special uses, and 9% miscellaneous uses, with an additional 3% for urban land. Studies reveal that America's national parks and other protected public lands are too small and fragmented to sufficiently preserve the nation's biodiversity. Fragmented habitats have a rate of losing nearly half of all species within 20 years and continues a downward trend. Biodiversity is the diversity of ecosystems, natural communities, and their habitats. Pretty much, it's the variety of ways that species interact with each other and their environment. In order to conserve biodiversity, land conservation and management is critical. Some of the land management approaches include adaptive land management and small loss big game methods. Adaptive management is used to better meet the needs of ecosystems and the usefulness of its resources. In the small loss big game management approach, big gain would be the successful ecological functioning of the protected area, while small loss would be the minimum negative consequences for human land use. Environmental conservation and land conservation in general is the broad term for anything that refers to the goal of making life more sustainable for the planet. Ultimately, people want to help the planet survive naturally and with no negative impact from the human race. Helping keep the planet healthy and safe is called conservation. Sustainable land management includes maintaining long-term productivity of the ecosystem functions, which are land, water, and biodiversity, as well as increasing productivity, which is quality, quantity, and diversity of goods and services. The way we can better manage agriculture is by being more organically sustainable. Management methods include crop rotation, planting more diverse crops, and limiting the amount of pesticides we use on our crops. 